Hello. Speaking of the devil, I was just asking Lisa about last night. Oh, yes, well, let's say we understand each other a lot better now, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Anyway, I was wondering if you'd like to pop over for a cup of tea. I've um, still got some birthday cake left. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, good, because if we're going to be family, I think we should spend time together. About three? Actually, today's not very good for me. Louise didn't sleep much last night and we've uh, got this builder coming around later. All oh, right, well, if you're too busy. Yeah, we are a bit. Sorry, Mum. That's all right. Sure there'll be plenty of other occasions before the wedding. See, See ya. you then. Ah, oh, bless her. She's really trying. Mm, isn't she? How's it going? I don't know, yeah? Well, it's been sucking his teeth a lot. Well, ladies and gents, do you want the bad news? Or well, the not so bad news? Here we go. How about the not so bad? Well, there's a possibility that the work you need doing might be covered by the insurance. Now, if that's the case, you might only have to lay out the first 500 or so. 500 quid? What about the bad news? Well, I reckon it might be serious. You are joking? No. I'm going to have to put up a scaffold, have a good look round. Probably take about a week to do both inside and out. But we've got a baby. We can't have builders in the house, all the noise and dust. Sorry, love, you don't understand. This could be dangerous. I really think you're going to have to move out till it's sorted. Sorry, mate. I'm just as shocked as you are. Well, I'm going to have to go capping Ant to the in-laws now, aren't I? Just when they were starting to take their claws out. I'm going to go and pack me gear. No, Mark. Where else is there? I've told you. Me and your mum have got to take things slowly. Anyway, it'd be too much for her. You know what she's like. She'd end up running round after us. Well, true, but what's the alternative? We could ask Mel. She's got plenty of space. All right, you go and speak to her. But I'll mention it to my mum anyway, just as a backup. No. She'd see it as being second choice and get offended. Yeah. You know, you can be very thoughtful sometimes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, don't tell me Mark's thrown you out. Yeah, the builder's chucked us all out. He thinks it's safer we're not there. No. Yeah, luckily the Slaters are taking pity on me. But I dare say Mark and Lisa will probably be over yours later, begging for a room. Oh. All three of you. Please, Mel. I know you've got a lot on right now, but I'm desperate. The only other option is Pauline's, and I couldn't stand that. Mel, all the champagne flutes have been smashed. What do you want me to serve the complimentary drinks in? With the wine glasses in the boxes. Right. Sorry, what's, why don't you want to stay there? She knows about the wedding. She's giving me a really hard time. Well, be patient. She'll get used to it. You don't understand. She's now decided I'm still seeing Phil. So if I do anything to upset her, she's going to tell Mark what happened the other day with Louise. Or rather, her own twisted version. Right, so try talking to her. This is Pauline Fowler we're talking about. You move her stupid fruit bowl an inch to the left and she'll have you up against the wall. Laura, don't put that in there. Those bags aren't strong enough. Well, what do you want me to use? There's a box here. Use that, love. Use your loaf. No, this obviously ain't a good time, is it? At least you can see what it's like. I'm sorry, but we'll talk later, yeah? Fine, I'll call you. Ian? Yes? How many more of these have we got left? Bad day. Tell me about it. I can tell Mel's stressed. She's starting to sound like Ian. I wonder they work well together. I mean, you're going to ask Melanie? She's not family. I know, Mum, but we were going to come to you, honest. Yeah? We've heard that one before. But Lisa thought it might be all a bit too much for you. You know, us two and the baby. Oh, really? She said that, did she? I told you. She's very thoughtful. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Because I've been doing a bit of thinking myself. I've got a little surprise for you. <laughs> I don't think I've had enough of them for one day. Hello, Lisa. Gary told Mum what the builder said, and she's made us an offer. We can stay with her till all the work's done, however long it takes. But, uh, I thought we'd agreed to ask Mel. Well, I have my own family go and stay with friends, and I've got a perfectly good spare room at home. <laughs> I wouldn't hear of it. I've already asked her. She said yes. Virtually. Oh, come on, Lisa. It's a gesture to show your mum really wants to work things out. Yeah, but Mark... Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity for us to get to know each other properly and, uh, well, I'll be able to keep a close eye on you all, you know, in the run-up to the wedding. Well, that'd be nice. 